There are endless misconceptions when it comes to wonder world of sex. Today with us we have Denise and she's an advocate for the female health company. Um, and on her travels she regularly experiences the stubborn misconceptions when it comes to sex. Um, tell us Denise, can you give us an example of something you experienced? Yes, like you said, the list is endless, unfortunately. So I'm happy to have this opportunity to kind of clear some of these misconceptions up. And they exist all around the world, both in Western countries as well as developing countries where I travel for my work for the female health company. Um, one very general misconception that we see all over the world is that, you know, women and men think that if the man just withdraws his penis before he actually comes during sex, that the woman can't get pregnant. Now, this is a very, very um, dangerous misconception because the pre-cum that will come out of the penis of the man might actually still have some residue sperm in it, which means that you can still become pregnant as a woman. And so it's not a good idea to think that, you know, withdrawing before ejaculation is a good way of practicing safe sex because you can still get pregnant, not even to mention the risk of getting infected with STIs. Um, so please do, you know, condom up so to say, whether it's a male or a female condom. Something else that we see is that a lot of people like to use extra lubricant when they're having sex. This to ensure that sex is going smoother and is more pleasurable for both the man and the woman. Um, but sometimes when couples don't have any lubricants close by, they think that anything that's kind of oily or greasy will actually do the job. And this can be very harmful for both the man as well as the woman. One thing we see is that some people actually use Vaseline instead of a lubricant. And remember, as a woman, you're actually inserting this fluid or cream into your body. And this is not a very good substance to have in you. So you can get rashes or you could get all kinds of different consequences due to this. So make sure you don't use just any cream or any oil that's nearby. If you want to use a lubricant for smoother and more pleasurable sex, make sure it's a qualified one that you buy in the drugstore or the pharmacy. That's really, really my advice or use a very lubricated condom, such as the female condom, for instance. Then you don't even have to add any lubricants. Then another one that we see, and this one is all over the world. We see it particularly in very male-dominated countries, such as some in Africa, but we also still see it in the West. And that's still the general misconception that women cannot initiate sex or shouldn't be wearing condoms on them. And this is still a little bit of a gender issue. You know, women are seen to be promiscuous if they initiate sex or if they wear a female condom with them. But this is not true, of course. I mean, these women are human beings as well that enjoy healthy sexual relationships. And so for them to initiate sex is just as justified as for a man. And I think them wearing condoms with them just empowers them. They make sure that they have the control over their own sexual and reproductive health and aren't dependent on any man in that. So that are a couple of misconceptions that I would really like to clear up. And I think a lot of people would actually benefit by listening to them. Wow, thank you, Denise. Um, very um, educational stories you had there. Um, and for you guys at home, if you're interested in part two of the sexual misconceptions worldwide, um, make sure to keep your eye on Interconnection.